And let's not talk about social DXS. Social DXS may be seen as a subtype or a variant of uh, person DXS. Social DXS refer to uh, the identification or pointing out of social cl class of the speaker uh, of the speaker or the addressee or, or a third party who which is being discussed or uh, or is involved in the discussion. It also talks about the relationship between them, how they dress with each other, how how, how they talk to each other. This shows uh, their their relationship and uh, through their address terms, sometimes we can identify the relationship between them, a relationship of respect, relationship of love, a relationship of distance or uh, proximity we could identify so many things so many social meanings can be extracted from the way they talk to each other and and the things we can identify may include social class skin relationship age sex profession and ethnic group uh, it may be defined or social dexes may be seen as closely related to person dexes as uh, i have said a while ago uh, one of the popular people who worked in, in the field of DXS, Levinson, says that uh, uh, such DXS, social DXS work on the pronounced systems of some languages and uh, which point out the social identities or relationship of the participants in the communication. So one of the primary goals of social DXS is to not only reveal to us or to the speakers the social identity uh, but also the relationship between the speaker and the addressee or any other participants within a conversation. Social DXs also refer to the ex expressions which uh, clearly encode social meaning. Uh, one of the popular form of social DXs is the address terms which we use to address others. Uh, there are certain expressions uh, which show respect to others and they uh, definitely in indexalize their social status. For example, the words like sir, madam, doctor, professor, they show a higher status or a better status in society of the people who are being addressed. So, so these words are usually taken as the words of respect in most of the societies in the world. So they, they actually index lies or point out uh, a better social status in in societies where where these words are spoken another well known uh, distinction between uh, within the social dexes is between familiar and non familiar expressions and uh, such academic distinction is uh, found between uh, is found in, in French literature which comes to us in form of tu or vows expression. Tu is, is the form which is used for the uh, for fam familiarity and vows is used for non-familiarity. And we usually use for tu expressions when we are in a better position and we are talking to the people who are, uh, who are lower to us in various ways, maybe in age or in status. And we use uh, vows uh, and exicles uh, when we 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 are talking to somebody who is superior to us in knowledge, in wealth, or in or in status, or in any other way. The choice of one form will uh, definitely communicate something uh, about the speaker's view of his or her relationship with the addressee. For example higher, older or more powerful speaker will use uh, two ver version to a lower, younger and less powerful uh, addressee and the addressee, addressee by the vows form uh, in return. So uh, when we are in a socially better position, be it be age or status or any other factor which places us in in a position of prestige, we will probably use a non-familiar version of uh, social DXs in order to address the people who are uh, less 
who are in in a in a lesser position to us in terms of age or any other social indicator social access can be accomplished by a wide range of linguistic devices including personal pronouns for example they can be seen as markers of respect and in forms of address like calling somebody sir madam etc uh, affixes and critics uh, and particles which uh, are seen as verb forms attached to intimacy formality uh, and the choice of vocabulary some general vocabularies can also show such in uh, such social dexes social dexes generally uh, may be seen as a subtype of person dexes they may not be typical pronouns rather some social terms uh, which which show some kind of uh, relationship or identity of the speaker and the addressee for example this might include the terms of endearment for example my friend my son so the t- such words can can show some endearment between uh, the speaker and the addressee so all those words or person dexes which show some some kind of social identity or or some kind of relationship between the speakers other than the general uh, person dexes may be seen as social dexes 